it now. A whole different set of people. Um, learn more of who I am and what I've done in the past here, like mortified. Why would someone who's worked on the A-list in television and film, Saturday Night Live, um, have done films with Kristen Slater, Eva Langoria, Morgan Freeman, uh, a long list of A-lists. Um, why would you throw it all away and come and hang out on the beach? Good question. I learned something from Peter Jennings a long time ago at ABC. Peter was uh, a mentor. Peter was a friend. I met him when I was there a couple times with um, the presidents of the television division at ABC News. God bless their souls. I don't know that many of them uh, from that time were in Hartledge. Hartledge. Um, I'm trying to think who else was in. Lucas was in radio. I, I knew a lot of people at ABC. ABC is where I started at age 10 in 1969. Uh, I changed my name to Protect the Innocent. I learned by age four that my country kills my relatives for telling the truth, being a third generation. JFK's birthday, three days apart from mine, third cousin, both triple Gemini's. Hmm, and my birthday's on the 31st, three, one. A lot of threes going on, what do you think? Two, nine, I don't know, there's something there. Anyway, um, the reason I, I, I stopped to answer this question because I was asked this again today by some investors who are looking at doing some stuff um, and some projects together, some film projects, um, some healing projects, some, some projects to benefit communities around the world. Um, and my answer has always been the same. From Peter, I learned um, the true meaning of hard news, honesty, integrity, no speculation, research, fact, documented, verified, um, to the point that I did have Peter's direct number and Melissa and the people, um, you know who you are who would answer the phone and put me right here if he was available. I could give him breaking news from somewhere in the world on a matter that I was working on or aware of. Um, that's an honor to be able to call up uh, a news anchor desk while they're in the middle of a newscast and drop stuff into their ear or into their teletype, into their teleprompter. Um, that ended up on the air. I can think of numerous stories. Uh, the Ali North story, um, the Rico one with the FBI, I know that hit on NBC first. I uh, didn't have a vote in that one. Um, uh, boy, 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 boy. The 911 disaster. Inside job. Three towers, not two. Ten billion in Russian gold ended up at Trump Tower from Tower Three. No one talks about that, do they? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I declassify some more information? See, I also learned from um, Tom Brokaw and, and other people at NBC and, and CBS, Dan Rather. Dan has always been about honesty and integrity and speaking his mind. I have great respect for those journalists who will put their ass on the line um, to get the truth out there, despite corporate agendas. I do remember being at ABC once where we got a, uh, um, you know, a phone call. Uh, I don't remember that there was a written document on it. Wouldn't be, but the order came down that on a GM story we had to tread lightly because they had made a, a major buy. I mean, let's be honest, that shit happens. Uh, major buys can influence news, history, he who paid for it, his story. The only person who has paid for my story is me. I've paid through the years being in television, film, broadcasting, 
and numerous other industries the world had no idea. I was in through my private companies as a federal and international contractor, working in research development, aerospace industry, telephony, voice over IP, SSL encryption, uh, server configurations for doing secure credit card transactions, audio video streaming in every format from Mars and back and beyond. I know, it sounds like a, bull, a lot of bold claims, but it's all factually correct. Um, go look up Kirk Kelly Entertainment, Federal Court, Woodland Hills, California, 1999, 2000, somewhere back in there, where they made me tube a $10 billion company that I privately owned, one of my six at that point, um, because they didn't want someone's company imploding to about $4 billion, $4 trillion within 18 months. Back in that era, that would have made me certainly probably one of the richest people on the planet and you can't have you know a poor white boy from northern michigan Michigan having so much power but you guys forgot to read all the fine prints and i did notify the department of justice to fraud and you guys let it slide through any way so let's call a spade a spade you avoided that whole goddamn transaction and rights revert back to me because it was intentional fraud by the U.S. government to defraud me out of my technology. Let's call it spade to spade. Not to mention that I did much more than the FBI and other <clears throat> agencies <clears throat> uh, insisted that I work with the frameworks and beta development of Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Gmail before you could even get into it. It was invitation only. Um, Google, uh, YouTube, I can get on a list. Microsoft, and Bill, you know what that four-page contract says. Kurt takes it and reverse engineers it, tweaks it, whatever you sell it as is. You tweak my stuff or use it without consent. Guess who owns Microsoft? It's in the contracts. Maybe you should have your legal people review it and get in touch with me. Maybe we can mitigate some of this hardship that I've had to experience due to unsavory government people. I know we've both been taken by the Department of Justice. Maybe it's time we adjust us for a few more people on the food chain. What do you think? Lori Caldwell, does that name ring a bell for you? Contact Lori, she doesn't reach me. Or call me direct, 424-310-9718. I also learned from people like Lauren Michaels who was over NBC um, late night programming. I think I first met him. Um, it was at Saturday Night Live in New York because I had flown to NBC in New York because they wanted me to move from NBC Chicago to NBC in New York. Uh, I declined. I would have worked with Howard Stern uh, and the people at Saturday Night Live and even had offers at MTV and Z100. I turned those all down because... Um, Chuck Morgan, who had brought me to NBC, I worked with in Detroit and Metro Media. Chuck was a dear friend and a mentor, and I lost touch with him. So, Chuck, if you've ever heard this message, I know I hold you, like John Guerin, in the highest regards. Um, and through the years, Chuck, um, who helped me negotiate my life in many ways, um, big brother, mentor, genius at what he did, Randy Lane, another influential person in my life. Um, these people helped teach me to always walk my walk. I was never one to take payola or plugola. I was always straight up. I even threatened to throw people out of my office if they ever did offer it again, and threatened to stop associating with certain representatives um, promoting music if they made offers. You know, I drugs and the suitcases full of money and everything else presented to me <laughs> and back in the early 80s you know 50 grand non-traceable cash was worth a lot of money along with the other stuff that came with it I always declined because I wanted to just keep my promise to my mom that I wouldn't fall down the path of corruption that I was going to maintain honesty and integrity and try and change the world with the truth and help out charities and help out people um, with my celebrity influence, try to help them to laugh, try to help them to find a better way uh, to expose corruption, etc. Also in doing that, um, it put my ass on the line with the Department of 
Justice and the FBI who forced me to work with them for several years as a federal contractor under threat of federal penitentiaries, paying $10 million for a lifetime sentence to get my ass kicked to turn over every secret I could think of, um, or I could just, you know, cooperate and not call an attorney, because if I did, the deal was off the table. I don't see how I had any choice there, do you? If I didn't take the deal in that call and not call an attorney, deal off the table, and I was headed for prison and paying for getting fucked. Now, maybe they played a high card on me at a young age, and I swallowed, but from everyone I checked with, that should have never happened. So for that alone, the Department of Justice needs to resend that 99 order and return all property to Uncle Perry. There's, there's another way you can help to mitigate some of the damage that you caused. I don't speak these insane truths half-assed. Everything I state is factual, whether it's about police corruption, corruption in the White House, the missing Russian gold, whatever, is based on fact and research and verification and documentation. I can't always tell you who my deep throats are because these people want to stay alive. And if I've made a promise to maintain their secrecy, I have that right under freedom of press, under freedom of information to people I expose. I know what you fucks can do. But I'm willing to take the risk because I don't want to face the maker, the creator, the master in the next realm and say, you know, I was afraid of Tu Ken Chu, Putin, Trump, or CIA, or whomever. There have been crazy people who thought they could change the world, and they have. The true story about Einstein and how he was sent home from school and his mom read the letter in tears and you're such a genius and I can't educate you, I gotta keep you home and, and and all the praises. Positive, mental, strong building blocks for a child. Einstein's mother dies and he finds the original letter in the attic and breaks out sobbing because it said your child is a complete idiot, uneducatable, keep him at home, don't ever bring him back, we don't want him back here. Mom didn't let him know that. Mom told him he was bright. My mom always told me I was a golden boy. I was bright. I had the right voice. I had the right look. I was here to help change the world. I knew out of the womb what my purpose was here. Do you know what your purpose is today? Yeah, I could still be living in the mansions on the hills and making buku bucks doing voice work and more camera work and more films. But I decided to plunge in at the request of the Department of Justice, the FBI, <sighs> DSS, PII, and others who were insisting I needed to get off radar or out of the country for the sake of the nation. Because the information I was releasing about our government was causing horrendous problems for the White House, both in the Obama administration who introduced Trump to the Russians, as well as the kickback Obama got to shut the fuck up and everybody on the way out the door, including me. Um, but as I reminded the White House, stand down orders don't apply to me. I'm not your property. I've never been a government employee. I'm not a snitch bitch. I am a federal consultant, I'm a federal contractor, I have an amazing high IQ, and for you jackasses who keep robbing me on the beach here, who have cost my companies and me literally millions of dollars, along with your crooked cop friends here in Santa Monica, and throughout LA and other regions in Southern California, get ready for the surprise of a lifetime, because there's so much audio and video to indict all of you that, you know, and that's just what's public, and if more shit happens to me, you can be fucking sure my estate will release every fucking inch of footage, which is going to bring a lot of government people to kingdom come. The world will not support what you're doing when they find out the truth. World. Global intelligence was hacked. 2014, 2015, Google Kirk Kelly and put in global intelligence breach, or global intelligence hacking. Read facts, look at hard printouts of data we provided that Norton and others were willing to come in and provide additional forensic information to document it down even further. And the Department of Justice on their orders of the White House of the Obama administration declined. Well, there's some that would say that's a cover-up, won't you? 
It's time we start to tell the truth. America, unless you want to start spelling it with a K and have them declare martial law and complete the Georgia Guidestone plan. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee, sheeple. Or sit back and let them genocide your ass and Armageddon will be complete and Extinction 7 will unfold this planet and it will be over with for everybody. The 200 million will not survive. You guys either figure out how to get the fuck along or get ready to end it for all of you. Adios, motherfucker, if you don't get it straight. I'm working on a concert for world peace. How can you help out today? Call me. Write me. I, my information is published. You can find me if you really want to find me. K-U-R-T-K-E-L-L-Y. The guy who does television and film, not the fat Republican or some other jackass impersonating me or my trademarks. And by the way, Santa Monica PD, LAPD, I am not 5'9 with brown eyes and black fucking hair. Next time you try and pick me up on a bullshit warrant like that, there's going to be shit to pay. Bank on it, bitches.